Welcome to our Python Basics series. In this journey, we'll explore the key building blocks that make your code come alive. From printing text and variables to reading input from the keyboard, we'll show you how to interact with your program step by step. We'll dive into formatting output with new line characters, and then you'll learn how to convert user input into numbers to perform calculations. Each example will guide you through the process with fun quizzes and challenges to keep you engaged. So, whether you're new to Python or just brushing up, let's get started and make coding fun. A computer program consists of instructions that execute one at a time. Let's begin with a simple Python program and observe how it works, step by step. The first line contains a function called print, which outputs the text between the quotes. Now the second instruction is executed, printing the next line of text. Finally, we have the third instruction, which prints the string. Carl, the text inside the parentheses is a string, enclosed in single or double quotes. In Python, the built-in print function displays the text you provide inside it. Now we will go through a series of multiple choice questions for you to test your knowledge. Please comment your answers in the comments section and let us know if the concepts are clear to you. The first question is to select the code line that will print, welcome, on the output screen. Recall what we studied about the print statement and comment your answer below. The second question is to choose the code line that will print a given string on the output screen. Again, recall what we've learned about strings and print statements and drop your answer in the comments. Now we want to print another statement using Python. Pikachu is the superior warrior. Please recall what we have learned about strings and print statements and comment your answer. In order to keep you engaged, let's go over a few questions together. Think carefully and I'll reveal the correct answers in the comments section. Write a Python script to print hello on the first line, email sent, in the second line and an email ID. In the third line of the output screen, there will be three print statements to complete this output. Please practice and comment your code for me to review. In the previous section, we learned how to print a string or a statement on the output screen. In this section, we will learn how to print variables on the output screen. Consider we have the variable wage, which is set to the value of 400. This means that every time we refer to wage, Python will understand it as 400. Next, we use the print function to display both a string and the value of wage together. Here, Python prints the wages followed by the value of the variable wage, which is 400. This shows how variables can be included in the output. Next, we set another variable, weekly wage, to 2000. Notice how with one print statement, we can output multiple values, strings, and variables on the same line. This is an important feature in Python. You can easily print multiple items, whether they're strings or variables, all in one go. So, in Python, variables store data values, and with the print function, you can output both the text and the value of those variables at the same time. You can even combine several strings and variables in a single print statement. Now that you have seen how we can print variables and multiple values, let's test your understanding with some questions. Drop your answers in the comments section and stick around until the end of the tutorial to check how you did. Here's the question. What will be the output of the following Python code? Drop your answer in the comments below and we'll reveal the correct answer by the end of this tutorial. Here's the second question. Take a look at the code and as you know that numwheels is set to four and the print function is used to output a string followed by the value of the variable numwheels. The question is, what will be printed when this code is executed? Think about it and type your answer in comment section. Here's the third question. As you know that the variable numwheels is set to value four and another variable called vehicle type is declared, setting it to the string pickup truck. Then a print statement is used to print combination of both string and variable. What will be the output of the code? Select your option wisely and share your answer in the comments. Let's practice with another question. Write the most direct single line code to print the given output strings using the variables. You will have to use print statement with a combination of both string and variables. Drop your answer in comment section for me to review. Now a little deeper question. We can see three different variables declared in the code. There are two print statements shown. Please figure out what will be printed on the output screen with these print statements. Take a moment to formulate your answer. Now, we'll learn how Python can print text in different formats using special characters called escape sequences. Let's see how these work by stepping through a simple program. In this print statement, Python will first print the word name followed by the escape sequence backslash T, which creates a tab space. Then it prints the word Job right after the tab. Next. Python prints a series of hyphens, followed by the backslash n escape sequence, which creates a new line. This is how backslash n inserts a line break, making the hyphens move to the next line. 
Let's take another example. This Python statement prints two lines of output using both backslash t and backslash n for formatting. Here, backslash t escape sequence creates space between the names and their corresponding jobs, while backslash n ensures that Joe is printed on the next line. So escape sequences are special characters in Python that help you format the output. Card creates a tab space and Talan creates a new line. These escape sequences come in handy when you want to format text for cleaner, more readable output. Now, let's move on and learn how to make Python programs more interactive by allowing them to get input directly from the user. Let's see how this works in a simple program. This Python statement uses the input function to prompt the user for some information. For example, the program asks, enter the name of your best friend. Whatever the user types in response gets stored in a variable called best friend. So if the user types Elon Musk, and that value is now stored in best friend and can be used later in the program. After that, the program uses the print function to output a message that includes the value of best friend. The input function is your program's way of interacting with users. It requests input from the keyboard and stores that input in a variable. You can then use that value later in your program for further processing or output. Now that you've seen how to get user input and store it in a variable, let's review this concept with a few questions. What is the value of dog name after executing the following Python code? The code uses an input function that gets a user input from the keyboard. Will the value entered by the user be stored in the variable dog name or not? Share your thoughts in the comments. Which of the following statements correctly reads a string entered by the user into the variable numcars? Think carefully about the correct option and let us know in the comments section. Please write a program that uses two variables x and y. Take user input and output the variables after an addition operation. Write the program and type the code in the comments below. Now let's see how we can use both input and print functions together to interact with the user. As we know, input is used to get user input and print is used to display output for the user. Let's take a look at how this works. This print statement first prints a message to inform the user that they need to enter their wage. Then we use the input function to read the value from the keyboard, which is stored as a string. However, in order to perform mathematical operations, we need to convert the string into an integer using the int function. The int function converts the string 8 into the integer value 8, which is stored in the variable wage. Now that wage is an integer, we can perform calculations. Here we add 10 to wage and store the result in a new variable called new wage. Finally, we use the print function to display the new wage, which is 18 in this case. This example shows how we can convert user input into an integer and use it in a calculation. Therefore, there are two key takeaways from this example. Whenever we get input from the user, it's stored as a string. We need to convert it to an integer or float type before performing any calculations. Now that you've seen how to convert user input into an integer and perform calculations, let's test your understanding with some questions. How can we convert the string 15 to an integer and assign the result to the variable myvar? Write the appropriate statement in the comments below. Can you complete this Python code so that the variable new var equals the entered number plus five? Think about your answer and share it with us in the comments section. This is the end of our tutorial. We've learned how to print text, handle variables, and format the output. Moreover, we've also learned how to get user input and convert it into an integer type to perform calculations. These essential skills form the foundation of Python programming. Remember, the more you code, the better you get. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments section. And if you'd like the solutions to the questions in this lecture, please comment below. Don't forget to share your thoughts. See you in the next video.